Being a school of uh, Minhane is, is pretty cool. You can see them just traveling in unison throughout the water, flipping and flashing as, as they travel along. And my name is Chris Newsom. I grew up on the Pieca Tank River on the Middle Peninsula of Virginia on the Chesapeake Bay. I uh, run fishing charters, fly and light tackle is my specialty. Minhane play a important role in my business. The fish that we catch are predatory fish that feed on smaller fish. There are times when we're out there and the striped bass are coming up, crashing the Minhaden on the surface. Declining fisheries has impacted my livelihood in that I used to have a strong uh, season in November, December, into January, whereas today um, I kind of wrap up my business about middle of November. We can't just take from the resource, we have to give back to it as well, and part of that is uh, managing our fisheries responsibly in a way that allows there to be fish in the future. We've been seeing more and more large whales in, inshore in the areas around Virginia Beach and in Virginia waters inshore. They're actually swimming through the water and essentially taking large gulps of water with these schools of menhaden in them and then they filter the water out and the fish are left behind. When they can find schools of fish like that, that's a perfect food for them. And that's really what's bringing them inshore here in, in Virginia. And we've had years where there have been more than a hundred whales around. And uh, they're not only along the ocean front, but they're following these schools of menhaden into the bay as well. We're seeing them up into the bay as well. Well, menhaden's a herring-like fish, and, and uh, it is often grouped into a group of fish called forage fish. They're very clearly one of the most important uh, forage fishes that there is for Virginia. I mean, from a, a whole lot of species. We've talked about large whales, but they're a significant part of the diets of bottlenose dolphins. And of course, they're very significant for, for uh, avian predators like, like uh, osprey and bald eagles. And, uh, and they're, they're a very common prey for a lot of game fish like striped bass. And, and so there's an amendment in front of the ASFMC, that's the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission, that's the group who's charged with managing Menhaden, to manage them with the entire ecosystem in mind. So if you manage with the whole ecosystem in mind, well then you take care of the birds and fish, quails, all the other animals. The Menhaden are at the bottom of the food chain. They eat algae. Everything else eats them. The more bait we have in Chesapeake Bay, the Atlantic Ocean, the more fish we'll have, the more birds we'll have, the healthier the environment will be. So why not manage them that way? <laughs>